of the Rhino Tech Info. Today we're going to be talking about the OnePlus 7T. Um, not necessarily how great it is overall as a phone. There's a ton of different reviews and YouTubers who've talked about this phone already. We did our own review roundup on this channel about this phone. So if you want a quick overview of what people are saying about this phone, um, head on over to the link over my head and check that out. But for today, we're going to focus specifically on gaming and how good of a gaming phone this phone actually is. I used to think that if you want a true gaming phone, you had to look at an ROG phone or you had to look at uh, Nubia Red Magic or something like that. But you can actually get a lot of, even most of those features on this phone. And a big part of that is game mode. Now I admit, gaming modes aren't exactly a new idea on uh, quote unquote regular phones. Samsung's One UI has a gaming boost feature, has a game boost feature on its phones. There's also an app that you can download from the Google Play Store that calls itself a gaming mode app you can download and put on your phone. But this one is quite a bit more powerful than that. This is actually a full-fledged um, gaming mode with all the different options that come with it. So the first thing you have to do with game mode is you need to tell the phone how you want it to behave in game mode. So in order to do that, you have to go to the app icon called Game Space. I have it in a little folder here, Mark Games. It's also just in your app drawer. And when you go into there, it shows all of the games that it thinks you want to play in gaming mode. So it does a pretty good job of knowing what apps our games. I haven't had to make too many changes, but there was one I wanted to do, so the 2-2 benchmark test uh, does not come up as a game. So it normally does not run uh, in gaming mode when you select it. So in order to add something to your game space, uh, you simply hit the plus button and it'll go to add games. And then you just find the app you want to add. So, oh, almost scrolled past it there. 2-2 benchmark, you hit that there and you go back and now it will be um should be hopefully yep at the start of the games right there so um it works really well it's really easy to tell it what apps you want to treat as games so next is the fun part where we go into settings and we can actually tell it what features we want to use in game space so or when we're in gaming mode. So the first one I wanna talk about here is answer calls via speaker. This is probably the biggest thing, along with notifications. This is probably the biggest game changer with this feature. So if somebody calls you when you're gaming with this toggled on, and just so you know the default setting is off, so you actually have to turn this on to activate it. Um, when somebody calls you, you can answer right from the screen of your game and you don't lose progress in the game nothing comes up on your screen you're just talking to the person with the game screen still on okay so I'm now in the middle of a game of multiplayer on Call of Duty Mobile and there you can see I'm getting a call it has already cut the sound of the game all I have to do now is hit the green answer button hello who's this uh, hello. okay so as you see um, I'm talking to him, he's on the other line, he can hear me, but I am not, um, I'm not interrupted, my game is still running just fine, he cannot hear my game on the other line, um, as far as he knows, all of my attention is devoted to him right now in our conversation, and then when I tell him I'm done talking to him and he hangs up, the sound automatically comes back on and you can hear once again. The next thing we're gonna look at here in the settings is how to show notifications. So you see here, I have it set to text only. I believe the default when I started was heads up, which meant it would be a full black box that runs across the top. And in fact, if you click on it, it'll show you what it looks like down in the um, demo screen. So it'll show, you know, you get your more typical box of text at the top of your screen. But when you go text only, it only shows the text. It is much less cumbersome. It is much less intrusive uh, than the regular heads up display. And then of course you also have the choice to just block it. Okay, so here I'm getting ready to start another game of PUBG, this time hopefully with no interruptions. And, oh, 
So you see at the top of my screen there, son needs food badly. That is his text message. And that's because, once again, I set that to text only, so it doesn't bring up a huge black bar. While I'm gaming, it doesn't get in my way or block my view. So, I can either keep playing, or I can stop and answer once I get to a safe location. So in this case, I'm gonna go hide out in the pantry here, and then I can go to my swipe down and answer him and tell him whatever I need to do and go back to the game. So some of the other features that I really like in game space, uh, this disable automatic brightness here, that's a really useful feature. Um, it's on some less powerful uh, game modes on other phones. I do recommend using it. If somebody turns the light off in your room when you're gaming or you switch rooms, it won't change the brightness on your screen. This graphics optimization right here, I don't know exactly what that does, if it actually does anything. To be honest, I can't really tell much of a difference whether it's on or off, but I leave it on. You can increase your haptic feedback um, here and you can see what games support that. I don't do that only because uh, I don't want to consume too much battery. That's the one thing that I leave off. And then down here, you've got intelligent network management. Uh, basically, what this does is it will always keep you on the better network, the faster network with the least latency. This can dig into your data, though, if you don't have an unlimited data plan. So just be careful with that. And then finally, down here at the very bottom, you've got fanatic mode. And fanatic mode takes you into a whole nother screen. Um, it blocks all notifications. And then it does this other stuff that I'm not sure, once again, how much it actually helps the experience. I've never you know, felt like I needed to enhance my process regulator or do any type of network enhancement. This phone never drops frames or has any problems handling anything I throw at it. But maybe it's just a little bit of future proofing for down the road or maybe if you're some type of professional gamer, this is something that you'd use. This is a little hardcore for me. I still like to be able to get my notifications when I'm gaming, but it's an option. If you want to use it, it's there. So, I really like gaming on this phone. Back when I had my Pixel 2 XL way back, you know, six whole weeks ago, uh, whenever I wanted to do a serious round of gaming, I had to actually take the SIM card out of my phone and put it into another phone just to make sure I didn't get interrupted during the gaming session from a call or a text or whatever. So the fact that I don't have to worry about that anymore, that there's a dedicated mode on this device is super cool. Uh, I appreciate the fact that OnePlus has brought some more hardcore gaming features down into a regular flagship phone. And it's not that if you're a serious gamer, you shouldn't get a gaming phone. There's some really neat gaming phones out there. In fact, I talked about them in another video. If you want to go back and watch that, thanks over my head. Um, but those phones have their own issues. They're either really big or they look like a 13 year old's dream phone or they don't have great cameras. So they're usually lacking in some other areas. So the fact that this traditional, really good flagship phone is also really good for gaming is actually really nice. So I'm curious to know what you guys think of the OnePlus 7T as a gaming phone. I'm also curious to know what phone you game on and what you like and what you don't like about it. Please leave those ideas or thoughts down in the comments so other people can see them and benefit from them. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And until next time, this is Brando Tech Info, signing out.